Hey, welcome to the YouTube channel. One of the questions I keep getting asked is how do I practice? So what I thought would be a good idea is to make these videos where I do a practice exercise and you can practice along with me, it'll be quite useful. I'll do them at a pretty moderate speed like 80 BPM and then you can use the YouTube speed function to slow it down or speed it up and you know, just get everything down clearly. Now, what I'm going to do today is take an exercise that I use that is coming from the E major scale. Let's start with your E major shape. So you've got your E major triad there, that's your root, that's the major third, that's the fifth, that's the root again, and that's your major third. So this is the shape that you start with, and the next one is this E flat diminished shape. Okay, so we're not playing the B string, I mean you could play it like that way. I just find it easier to just do this because the the E string and the G string are quite symmetrical. So okay, then you've got your C sharp minor, then you've got your B major, then you've got your A major, and then you've got your G sharp minor, then you've got your F sharp minor, and finally back to E major. Now the way I do it is to start off with this note and we just do this okay so I'm alternate picking everything okay the next one you've got is your E flat diminished now you could finger it with your ring finger or you could use your pinky I try to use the pinky for the higher one and then the ring finger. And then you've got your C sharp minor. And you've got your B major. A major. And then G sharp minor. F sharp minor. And back to. Okay, so I'm gonna start the metronome at 80 BPM and see if you can play along at this tempo. Okay, so hopefully you would have gotten through that. You can just loop that over and play that a few times and see if that works for you. Now, what I would then do is to use the same, the same BPM and basically double the speed. So we're doing this. Okay, so to get to that speed, you would have to go to the slower one a few times and see if you could uh, do that properly. Now for exercise two, we're gonna change the pattern up a little bit. This is something I got from my friend Tajdar Junaid and he showed me this as like a Bach exercise. So the basic pattern is here. Okay, so we're playing the triads, but we're also adding the second note. Okay, so the pattern again. and we keep going down the scale that way. Okay, so let's start the metronome. So something like that, if you play it along with some distortion, you can get this thing. Okay, 
Okay, so practice along and see if uh, this exercise is useful for you. If it is, let me know in the comments and I'll try and make a few more like these. See you.